What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of All Things Outdoors. Uh, we've got a little bit of a wet, rainy Sunday afternoon, so what better time to take on a little project in the shed today. So uh, stick around and check out what it is. Firstly I had to find a bolt that was the right thread size and then cut the head off it. I had to find a piece of aluminium tube that was the right size for the bolt to fit snugly in it. The bolt had to be drilled out for the locating pin to be passed through it. Then it was a matter of fitting the bolt into the tube and screwing it into place. Fit the locating pin and then insert it into the back of the prop. For the drill end I've decided to use an old 8mm socket driver as the attachment to the drill. So it's just a matter of drilling a hole for another fixing bolt. And that's it done and dusted. $28 and an hour's worth of work. I'm just changing over from my cordless impact driver to my cordless drill. myself a little cordless drill driven propeller to try and motor the kayak along. Um, I've seen it done a few other times on a few other people's channels so I thought uh, I'll give it a go. Um, you know, materials wise it wasn't a lot of cost. Uh, the, the most costly item as part of this setup was the propeller on the end there which was about $25. That's a propeller off a about a 30 pound trawling motor. All the rest of the components probably cost me about three or four dollars and I had some hardware laying around the shed at home so uh, I decided to bring it out and try it on both my drill driver, uh, sorry my cordless drill and also the impact driver 
uh, to see which one was better and by far the uh, the drill was uh, a hell of a lot better because the uh, impact driver kept um, ratcheting out every time it got under torque so basically all I needed was a shaft a way to connect the propeller at the end there and a way to hold it which I'll put this little uh, sleeve on there so you can hold it now the concept was a good one um, motored the kayak along nicely but the hardest part was steering um, I guess it's all about where the power is actually delivered to the kayak so in this instance from where I'm sitting the, the power is actually delivered right up beside you so it makes steering extremely difficult um, depending on which side you've got on if you've got it on your left hand side it's uh, it's quite easy to turn one way but when you try and turn the other way you've basically got to stick the drill right out there to try and get the prop in behind you on the opposite side of the kayak so I might uh, try and fiddle around with ways to better deliver the power to the prop so that it's a bit more even and I've got a few ideas so I may do another video later on describing how I do that but just thought I'd come out today, quick little project, and see how it goes on the, on the local river down here. So, uh, done a few uh, new mods to the to the kayak, um, uh, some camera mounts. I'm working on putting in a front bulkhead, as I said in the previous video on this uh, Daintree Hunter kayak, and a few other things to come prior to springtime when I'm going to get out and use it. So, uh, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and look out for more adventures from all things outdoors. Thanks guys, see you later.